Hi there, my name is Viola and I'm with Gwinnett SEO. And I just wanted to take a few minutes and chat with you about three things. That's content, backlinks, and citations. Things that can help you with your website and help your online presence. And then I'll go over how taking the opportunity of taking these steps is gonna improve your business. So I wanna talk about content. Content, you wanna have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content just on the homepage alone. So that way, if somebody is looking for something on Google, you could tell Google exactly what it is you wanna be found for. For example, a roofer in Columbus, Georgia, you wanna tell Google that, right? So when you're saving these, these, um, these photos, you can save them as those particular keywords so that way people can locate you based on that as opposed to you see like how this is what this is saved as so google's not going to notice how nice this picture is or how it's relevant to your business they see this so you remember it's google robots that are searching it so save these as those type of keywords as like roofer in columbus georgia etc so you could be found for that um, as well now let's take a look at what are your competitors this is a uh, superior roofing. And as you can see, they have a good looking website as well, but they have a little bit more words on their site than you do. So it's a popularity contest, right? They still don't have 1500 to 2000 words. They're sitting at about 380 words of content on their homepage. So it just tells us that they are outrankable or beatable when it comes to content. Now let's talk about backlinks. A backlink is simply anywhere on your site where if you click on it, it takes you to another page and it kind of gives you, it gives that site like an endorsement, um, which Google uses to trust your business or to add trust to your business by seeing others kind of vouching for you, right? So if you have a link on somebody else's page, Google will give you power for that. It's literally, like I said, a population contest where the person with the most people or the most websites win, right? You know, as far as what's pointing at them. Now, keep in mind, not all backlinks are created equal. So in order to keep it relevant to your industry, you want to make sure that it has something to do with what it is that you offer. So this is your business. This is a tool that I use called Aras. Um, uh, this is your business here. And it just tells me what's going on on the back end of a website. So, you know, I could see that you guys started a few years back and you're just kind of getting things ramped and you've probably been surviving off of just the referrals or whatever other business you've been getting in, but you are missing out on a huge opportunity in regards to your online presence. Your website could be working for you, right? So, but this is nothing to scoff at. I mean, congratulations to you on this because there's a lot of roofing companies out there that don't even have another website looking at them. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. And this is another, this is the other site uh, superior roofing company this is what they have going on so the strategy here would be to go into their backlinks see exactly which backlinks are working for them and to ask for a link on their page so you can rank for that as well so that way you could outrank them with content and you could also outrank them with backlinks okay now other than that let's go over to google right because i mentioned roofers in columbus georgia so when somebody goes to google and they type this in the goal is for you to get on this home page Right. And the way to be found, you know, is to get in one of these three sections. Obviously, you could do the paid ads. You can rank organically down here, which is about backlinks. But I want to talk about this section right here. And that's a citation. And a citation is simply your business name, address and phone number that are shown here, shown exactly anywhere else throughout the World Wide Web in different directories, such as like um, Angie's List, Facebook, Yelp right you got yelp here you could have it here it could be on the bbb all of these are different directories that you can have your business listed into for free um well the bbb is not really for free but you know sometimes majority of them are free and you can gain traction in that area for what we call the map pack right because if we click on this you and i both know there are hundreds of other businesses that live in this space but only three get to be seen here and nobody likes to go past page one for anything on Google. So again, it's a popularity contest. How do you get up here, right? So you want to outrank the top one, which is Allen Townsend Roofer. Find out how many citations they have. If they have 30, then you need to get 20 more on top of their 30 and outrank them month after month after month. Okay, so so that's pretty much the strategy here. Once your content, your backlinks and citations come together, then you start to outgrow your competitors. Here's what you might be looking at and why it's so worth it. 
So they are currently getting 2.700 people reaching out to them per month in traffic. Okay, now I'm not sure what your margins are, but I'm pretty sure that you can use some, you, you wouldn't mind having a few extra coming in your way you know, in regards to your website and your Google business page, you know, so let's say that their conversion rate um, of these people that are actually actual clients, okay, is 270, okay, and they're close, they're able to close 50% of that. That's 135 clients that they're able to close per month, okay, you see the traffic value is upwards of 37,000. So I'm sure you wouldn't mind using an extra 37K um, per month. But that's pretty much all I have for you, you know. And, and there's one more thing I wanted to go over with you, and those are the keywords. And the keywords, these are there are just so much more keywords that you could use. I only mentioned Rupert's Columbus, Georgia. And as you can see here, 2,500 people look for that one keyword per month. And they're sitting in the number two position, this company is. And they get 369 calls from that one keyword so it definitely makes a difference when you have these keywords ranking on your home page then you have roofing columbus georgia 2100 people look for that per month they're in the number one spot they get 769 calls from that one keyword because of their online presence so you want to go ahead and integrate all of these so this is what i do for a living and i'm just creating this video for you to help you so you can start generating more leads online and if you do find yourself wanting more to continue scaling as far as you want then feel free to reach out and i can help you with some more information or we can talk about your goals and i can do some research to find out exactly what could be realistic for your business and what it might take to reach those goals um, also if you don't mind leaving me some feedback letting me know if this was helpful for you or just a completely terrible idea um, either way, I'd love to know. And again, my name is Viola and feel free to reach out as my door is always open. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helps. Have a great day.